Hi, I'm Ryan Bates, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Northwest Wisconsin. I'm out in the plot here in Trempolo County, uh, Valorant Hybrids. We're in a plot from 91 day to 100 day maturity. Uh, it is the end of September and it's a great opportunity to make some agronomic uh, observations. The reason I'm out in the plot today is tar spot is becoming a big issue in this area. Seeing some fields that you think are maturing but are really dying prematurely from tar spot. Now in this year, we'll see how that plays out on your overall yield. But going forward, that moves in earlier, it's gonna be a bigger concern. So the hybrid to my right here, you can see it's brown. Uh, this is a, a, a probably, probably you're familiar with, lead competitor here, really has died prematurely from tar spot. You can see that tar spot lesions on that leaf. And on the uh, left here, this is 97.72 AM. Uh, so another product you're probably familiar with. Um, so we're out here making observations. As you see the plant health on P9772 AM is a lot healthier. This thing is still filling out on the uh, one on the right here that's dying prematurely. Uh, we're gonna see a smaller cob. What's the impact on yield? It really with that late onset, it's probably just taking off the top end. But it also leads us to potential reducing our standability. Something we're gonna wanna watch as we get a harv uh, harvestability. So really out here making product observations so we can select hybrids that are gonna work going future, especially as we get into a year where we get more moisture. Leaf wetness really drives um, tar spot development. We know this year we didn't see a lot of moisture, uh, but you look at southeastern Minnesota right now, really experiencing heavy tar spot pressure, really limiting yield, and they're, they're seeing some big separations. If that hits in our area next year, it's gonna be a, a big concern and something you wanna be prepared for. Right now, hybrid selection is the number one thing you gotta do for next year. We can talk about in-season fungicide applications, I, obviously an additional cost, as well as how you can get applied, or you got a ground rig to get through it. Can you get an airplane? Drones, there's a, a couple options on getting drones now. That's gonna be a bigger thing going forward. But how you gonna manage the seas and not take off the yield if this hits your operation next year. So as you look at these plots, we'll share results. Uh, talk to your pioneer sales professional on their knowledge. Uh, they're out looking at plots as well, looking at these separations. They're gonna give you the best insight in their varieties that are gonna work uh, on your operation to protect you against tar pot. Thank you for your time today. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.